All right, Master Shredder, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, Master Shredder? Train different gang, different. That's good money. Once again, for another epic collab. Today, we're going to get into the top 10 healthy foods that you should eat. Must eat. Must, must eat, must eat these. That you must eat, <laughs> must eat these. If you want to see some gains behind and you don't want to be wasting your time, right. all right? So number one, I'm going to say is avocados. That's a number, that's that's on the top 10. Why? Because it has the healthy fat you need and for your heart, your heart is a big, the heart is very important for pretty much everything. Like for pumping blood and giving you the pump you need and making sure it, like blood flows to the muscles that you're working on and that you're training. So it's pretty basic. Avocados, because they got like the, um, like the fat and got the, the fiber omega th got omega and threes. omega three got for the brain. In there? Yeah, okay. it got omega three and and six, I believe, and it's good for the brain as well too. Um, number two, I would say is mangoes. Why mangoes? Matter, it doesn't matter if it's Haitian, Mexican, or Dominican, because it's like a whole food. They say it's a whole food. It got a lot of good vitamin C, a lot of good vitamin A, K, fiber and it fills you up it has a lot of water in it and it gives you a lot of energy antioxidants in that so you got the mangoes all mangoes have to has to, has to have the seed in it all of them yeah they all seed. do all yeah, got yeah, seed. Okay, that's much, they, yeah. they ain't really mess with that yeah yeah they don't they don't really mess with they that mess with the they don't really mess with that okay um another one number three if you could get seeded watermelons if you could get those black seeded water yeah black seeded what why you what what is what's wrong with the white seed? They got white. I thought well, original is it's the yeah, black they, seed. They, original, they, that's the original. Yeah, that's black the original. Seed. But right. you know, it's hard to find those. The black you know seed. Yeah. Okay. I, I find. Know. I still find. I find them, but sometimes you will. You'll see some kind of mixed up like. Yeah, white you see and black, black and white, yeah. or sometimes you'll see all yeah. white. Or all, all white. Yeah. I just okay. make sure they got seeds. Make sure they got seeds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But I the most sure nutrition, I believe. The most ones is the black. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Ones. Yeah. yeah. So that's the ones we want to get our hands on. We want to get the black. Get the but most. if they don't have the black, you saying yeah. white is okay. The yeah. White, okay. Yeah. To my knowledge, because okay. when I eat, up my it replenishes me, it rehydrates me, has a potassium, electrolytes, antioxidants. It's good for pushing out water that's that kind of gets stuck in your colon, and you need a healthy colon to just have a healthy overall body and have energy. Once you have waste that's pushing out of you, your body's gonna move much more efficiently. So watermelons, black seeded, is good. And it has a lot of water in it too. And water is good for your body. Yeah. Water, oxygen, good for your heart, good for blood flow, good for the pump. Yeah. All right? And um, number four, I would say, uh, I like walnuts or Brazil nuts. Because Brazil nuts is alkaline, I know that. Yeah, walnuts is too. Walnuts is too. Okay. Yeah, it's brain food. Brain food. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, brain right, food. Right, right. Yeah. This is good for um like the omega, the omega three, threes, you need sixes. Um, healthy fats. Healthy fats, fiber. If you concerned about protein, which I'm not, I don't look for protein. To build, I look for minerals like in those Brazil nuts and those walnuts. Right. They have the magnesium, the iron, the cellium, the zinc, especially the Brazil nuts, yeah. the zinc. That's key for um, like your immune system. The zinc, not just vitamin C to build your immune system, but zinc yeah, is zinc. another key yeah. right there. So, you know, that's number four right there. Number five for me is watercress. Yeah, I like watercress. It's hard to find. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Watercress really? no? is very easy to find. You can find yeah. it in every supermarket, just like kale. You they got watercress at Traders? There. They should, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they got watercress at Traders. They got watercress at any supermarket, any like little grocery yeah. stand. Yeah, watercress is one of those that you can find all year round. I know That's it's, why it's great. I know too. it's alkaline. Yeah, Maybe I, I, I just got to add. I got to ask when I go. Yeah, add it to your stuff. Like these things. Is like these foods is things that you should add. If you want to see a difference, add these. Like I said, so this is number five. Watercress. Watercress. That's a green. That's a green. That's a leafy green. Leafy green. It's a dark leafy green. Good for vitamin K for your skin, and very high in iron as well too. 
and okay. other minerals as well too and fiber the good fiber you need for your digestive system to really flow and push out so you're not bloated and tired with waste built up in you. okay that's number um, five right there right um number six i like i like wild rice i like wild rice yeah why do i why you should eat that because if you like white rice and you just feel like, all right, even if you're trying to transition to vegan or vegetarian or a diet like that, and you're saying you hungry for carbs or things like that, like the wild rice is good because it doesn't leave you too bloated. That's one. You know, the, 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 when it does retain the water, it retains it pretty well and it gets, it gets out of your body good because of the amount of dietary fiber that it has in it. And for me, I eat like a pound of that. So a pound of that, it would be about I would say 1,100 yeah about a thousand a thousand calories 1,100 calories I think 1,160 or 1,060 close to 1,200 calories yeah. I bought a one pound bag yeah. it says 150 per serving I think eight right. servings so, yeah. something like no, that no it's 10 servings 10 servings in yeah. that bag yes yeah, yes yeah, 10 servings so it's either 120 yeah. calories per serving or yeah. 150 something yeah like so that. it's about it's over a stack yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, over yeah. a stack That's of calories right. protein but I don't, I don't care about the protein, like I said. I care about the iron that I'm getting from it, the calcium, and the magnesium, all of these things. That's an alkaline, and the fiber. Yeah, alkaline that's a, grain. That's, that's an alkaline grain. So go tell them the comparison of the wild rice to the regular your brown rice and white, white you know, rice. Yeah, the regular and the brown rice, that's like a like a starch, more like a starch and like a carb. Like, so once, like once you get like too high content of starch in that and carb, it's just gonna stick and it's gonna make you bloat, and it's gonna retain water, and it's just gonna that water is just gonna stay on you. And to get lean mass, you wanna kind of cut down that water weight. So that's how you cut down that water weight. All right, wow, right. By getting yeah that lean mass. So yeah, that was number six. So um, what's another good one? Um, dark chocolate. I eat that every day. Yeah, dark chocolate. <laughs> you think not milk like, chocolate? Nah, not milk chocolate. I seen you pick that up when we go to trade. Yeah, Trader, yeah, you yeah. Pick I'm gonna get some up. more too. <laughs> yeah, like I not eat chocolate. that for breakfast and dinner. Like for, like I have some because and it has the sunflower seed butter in it. That's another one. That's like a bonus one that you could add instead of peanut butter. That's not in my top 10, but it's a very good one. Sunflower seed butter, but I get the dark chocolate. Yeah, break down that dark chocolate. Yeah, the dark chocolate now is good for your skin. It's good for your heart, good for your cholesterol. Good for your cholesterol, sorry. Like it has a lot of zinc, magnesium, iron, and these things in it. So it's good for your blood flow. And yeah, it's so good for your mood as well as too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what's the what's the difference between dark and milk? For, well, for, once you, know. you add milk, you add in blood, pus, feces. Okay, here we go. And other hormones so that we don't, we don't want, want in our body. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and other extra, like you know, yeah, yeah, GMO yeah. things that we don't want right. in our body. Chocolate. Yeah, because that's all that candy that people be buying yeah, in the store. Yeah. That's all milk, the milk chocolate. Yeah, that's, that's, that's milk a good chocolate. thing. Like yeah, like I said, I eat the dark chocolate every day. Right. I can't lie to you. I'm a, I'm gonna post that on my YouTube. The one that I get. And yeah, okay. it's pretty good and it's good for controlling your appetite too. And yeah, help with weight loss as well too. You said about mood, so it's got some yeah, brain it's good. Yeah, it's good for your properties. brain co cognitive function. Okay. Yeah, it's good for cognitive function and okay. yeah, good for overall mood too. Okay. So that's, um, that was number seven, seven. right? Mm -hmm. So um, number eight, I'm going to say, because it, yeah, it's hard to squeeze in because I got a lot of, like a lot of, good ones but I'm gonna squeeze in the top 10 that I believe you should and if they in season um cherries cherries yeah they in season now they in the stores yeah yeah so this is what number yeah. seven it's number seven or eight it's seven right mm -hmm. yeah this is seven so the cherries a lot of those is good um good for your blood you see that the, see the color the fruits have a, like a color code into them man right. so you see the red things that's gonna be good for your blood man and right. have like iron and vitamin C building your immunity in them and they're good for testosterone too building testosterone it's like an aphrodisiac or the aphrodisiac is it's like a you could say like a sexual enhancer you know what I'm saying so if you're a man you want to eat things that have like 
things that are like aphrodisiacs, like dark chocolate is one too. Because the aphrodisiacs is gonna build your testosterone naturally. There you go. Yeah, so that's the science behind that. That's what I figured on my own. Right. Right. I studied that and learned that on my own. So um yeah, the dark the, the cherries, they got the vitamin C, gonna build your immune system. And you need to stay healthy to stay consistent. Alright, you don't wanna get sick because if you get sick, that's the point of eating alkaline and staying good. You get sick, your skin get dry, and when your skin get dry, muscles is gonna get dry when your muscles don't get water and your muscles ain't get getting no pump they're gonna deflate and look deflated so you want to stay oxygenated hydrated and, and healthy so these things is gonna build your immunity okay right so what's that yeah, we got eight nine and ten left eight nine three and more ten. three more so another good one um I would say is pumpkin it's pumpkin squash pumpkin squash yeah that's a good one if you're trying to like that's like a ground food i'm like like you know what i'm saying like that's like not a grain but it's, instead of potatoes like that's like a starch that could help you put on but it's not gonna be healthy you said you know? pumpkin squash yeah you could people could either say it's either pumpkin or squash you know what i'm saying it's like okay you could call it pumpkin or squash it's the okay. same thing okay I got you, you know what i'm saying oh, okay so it's like yeah, it's not it's not it's not sweet potatoes right. or or potatoes itself like you know yeah, break down like uh, the nutrition nutrition yeah the nutrition value of a uh, yeah. pumpkin the nutritional value in that is like you see it's orange as well too the one yeah. that i'm talking about right. is, is orange so it's going to be good for your skin good for your eyes it got vitamin k and vitamin a in it they got a lot of good vitamins in that and fiber as well so it's good for your digestive system. That the smoothness in it, like you see the texture of it. Mm -hmm. Like it's not potatoes, but it's got the same texture. And it's and it's an alkaline. It's what's, an alkaline thing. What's that other orange vegetable? Sometimes the, 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 the Muslims, they make bean pies with it. No, 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 not the bean, no, no. Some lady, what's this? It's an orange, an orange, an orange vegetable. It's probably. That's probably a different, cause pumpkin, there's different, it's there's pumpkin kombucha, is something else. Is there's different type of pumpkin, you know. There's a green one, there's like a different type of like oval looking one, that's like a tan one. But there's pretty much orange on the inside. It's an orange, it's another kind of squash, I forget Yeah, what probably call. squash, you're probably talking about. Probably squash. Yeah. But pumpkin is good though, because, pumpkin, okay. yeah, cause it's gonna help you, it's gonna help you keep like, you know, some size on you, some mass on you. They say, as I'm saying, eat this one instead of sweet potatoes. It's another orange. It's not squash. It's something else. It is. I'm telling you. It's the squash then? Yeah. Pumpkin squash. Yeah. It's pumpkin or squash. Same thing. Some people call it pumpkin. Some people okay, call okay. it squash. Right, you know okay. what I'm saying? They got same. butternut squash. There you go. That's what I'm yeah, talking about. That's pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's butternut. A, that's a pumpkin. Yeah. These oh. are all pumpkins. Oh, okay. Like, My bad. See, yeah. Butternut like, squash. That's the pumpkin they use for their uh, pagan yeah. Halloween bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a pump that's another okay. type of pumpkin. Okay. So you got the kombucha squash. Yeah. That's a type of pumpkin too. That's a green one. Okay. And it's orange on the inside. That's what and I was then thinking the butternut of. Squash, yeah, butternut that's squash. That's another good type of pumpkin too. Okay. So you got different type of pumpkins. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, that's what they sell over there at Trader yeah, Obviously, yeah, That's what yeah. I was thinking yeah, of. Those butternut is great. squash. Yeah, those is great to add in okay. and to substitute instead of potatoes right. instead of the sweet yeah. potatoes because you get them more alkaline okay. and you get them better digestive. Just Less like, you starch, know. you would say too. Or? Yeah, the, not not it's it's a but it's not too heavy on it. Like I don't believe that's I, what I I'm saying compared alkaline. to potato. Compared yeah, I believe to, that is actually alkaline, not too crazy on the starch crazy. like how potatoes, potatoes. is like okay. crazy. I got you. Yeah. All right, two more. Um, two more. Throwing like a um. What about a grain? You throw any grains? Grain? Wild yeah, rice. Grain. You said wild rice. Yeah, two more grains. I could throw in two more grains. Okay. Yeah, you want two more grains? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Nine is um amaranth. That's a grain I use like you seen how I um you could use that for your porridge or like instead of um yeah I like to use that instead for instead of porridge. oats instead of oats yeah instead of oats because oats it was a video that we did at one six one that's oh, that's two thousand sixteen back yeah, in yeah, the day yeah. Oh, okay yeah yeah and there was the one I think no excuses. And yeah. I ate oatmeal before that, and it was doing laps, burpees, muscle Yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was terrible. Right, right, right. Because it was like the oatmeal just doesn't sit right on you because it's like pretty much mucus. So it just sits around and just, you know what I'm saying? It takes pretty long to break down in your stomach because it's like, it's pretty mucusy. But a lot of people, man, they eat that oatmeal. They say that's the first thing they have in the morning nah, is nah, that, nah, that nah, oatmeal. Nah, they eat that. Me. 
and then it gives you gas. I know that's yeah, why I stopped gas, messing with it. It gives you gas. Like in that yeah. video, I was yeah, pretty yeah, bloated. Yeah, yeah. And trying to run and do right. and stay active, you don't want to do that. So once you get bloated and do that thing to you, it's not alkaline. It's most likely acid. I know that you didn't mention it, but, I, but I'm going to say it. Yeah. I used the quinoa instead of the oatmeal. Quinoa I messed with the quinoa. That's, that's the that was going to be my next one. That's your next could, one. Okay, yeah. But we could, like, that's like a bonus one. But yeah, yeah, amaranth yeah. Yeah. is a good for the porridge. I like that for the cereal. If people, right. like, especially if you're trying to transition yeah. and you're trying to, like, you know, you need something for breakfast and you. You're not trying to mess with none of the cereals. Cereals, there is amaranth cereal as well too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to have that yeah. at uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, amaranth cereal. That's Amaranth, a good amaranth one too. flakes. They used to have. Yeah, amaranth yeah. flakes. But what they do have now, I'm gonna throw yeah. this in there too. The, uh, another healthy grain, spelt. Spelt. Oh yeah. Spelt. spelt I buy the spelt well cereal one. and the spelt yeah. bread. Spelt. That's yeah. what I usually um, get spelt. from my. Um, yeah, that's for the bread. bread. Yeah, yeah spelt so, bread. Yeah, so yeah, that could be the next one. That could be the next one for the grain. Instead, because I got. I got the wild rice. Yeah. And then this right here is another grain for the breakfast. So you got a dinner grain. Mm -hmm. And anything you could do with the wild rice. Dinner, right. lunch, you can make burritos, whatever the fuck mm -hmm. you do. Yeah. Yeah. Wild, and, fried, and then this, like I said, the amaranth is like for the breakfast. Yeah. So, you know, you add your cinnamon, you know, whatever type of coconut milk or, yeah. or hemp milk or whatever nut milk you can make on your at, at home too. So you don't got to get the added stuff that they have in the stores. Because in the right. stores they usually add things to these like kind of milks, but right. you can make all of these milks at home. Yeah. So with the amaranth, you're getting the iron, the fiber, you're getting protein in there too. You're getting calcium, phosphorus, right. magnesium. So this is great. Yeah. yeah, this is great. And if then you, last, if you can find the amaranth to keep it real, yeah, get, we can find spell. I think spell in uh, quinoa. Yeah, Those are easier to find. Yeah, you can find them. Armor, you know, yeah, you look, can find look that. search for that. Yeah. You, can find, you can find it. Yeah, you can find it's it. not common, though, in it's these stores. Common. It's not, it's not common. Not, not in every store. Yeah, it's not you common. You're going to find that. You're going to find yeah. that more in your high end supermarkets. Right, right. You know what I mean? Maybe like on the yeah. other side of town. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> you ain't yeah. living on the other side right, of town already. Right, right. So, and then last but not least, the spelt bread. That's my yeah. that's my go to. That's me like, too now, yeah. I, I right. like the Ezekiel bread too, yeah. but the spelt bread is top notch. Right. If you want to see those gains, so if you want to cap pack on some lean mass yeah. and not be bloated, right. I can eat like half the like I believe twenty come in the loaf, mm -hmm. and I can eat ten of them yeah. and one sitting and. And I'll be good like the next day. It's very dense. Like, it's dense. Yeah, it's, it's not dense. that light, fluffy. Yeah, it's not light it's and dense. Fluffy. It'll it's fill dense. you, you know. And you could do your own your homemade spelt bread. Like, right, I right. believe a guy named Ty's Conscious Kitchen. Yeah, yeah. He, he yeah on good, Instagram. I heard yeah, he got a good homemade spelt oh, bread yeah, recipe. Yeah, so if you kind of, you can get the spelt flour and make that yourself. And Come out much control. cheaper. If you <laughs> yeah, much cheaper. And yeah, if you're into bacon yeah. and you know. You should have a lot of downtime now with all this shit going right, on. Right. Like, yeah, so yeah. get into some hobbies and yeah, get some new spelt. skills. The spelt bed is great. Yeah. Got the same thing, fiber, um, good calories in there. If you're into counting calories, I don't really count calories like right. that. Um, yeah, the, the, the iron, calcium, all of these it's minerals. A, it's alkaline. It's minerals alkaline. And it's it's alkaline. alkaline. It's minerals and fiber. That's what you need to build. That's right. That's the building blocks. The body's made out of yeah. water and minerals, y'all. Yeah, uh, water and minerals. So, so that's, crazy that's what over I that eat. Protein shit. Yeah, that's what I eat. Uh, that protein shit is like, I don't count that, man. Where you get your protein yeah, from? Yeah, all of that. Where you get your <laughs> yeah. protein from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't eat... Blood you vegan? Or, you vegan? Yeah, Where you get yeah. the protein from? <laughs> you don't eat no carcass, no dead carcass, like no burnt dead carcass. You know what I'm saying? Nah, eight years strong now, and yeah. like man, I'm I'm okay. still growing, I'm still progressing, yeah, still feeling good, still trying eating new things, man, still discovering new things. What's the saying again? Yeah. Let the gains speak for. Uh, let the gains speak for themselves, the man. Gains. Speak to the reps, speak to my reps, and let my gains speak. That's that's how I'm. That's okay. my saying. Alright, so yeah. that's the top tip. We threw in some extras in there too. Yeah, I threw in some extras, man. Some like a Fonio is another good one for like yeah. a rice substitute. Yeah. And and if you want, it's good for breakfast and dinner. Yeah. But I like it more so in for the dinner, like instead of like if I don't feel like eating the quinoa, I, do, I eat the Fonio. Fonio. That's another one that's good okay. for iron. The minerals. I've seen that around. Yeah, you see me mention iron a lot. Yeah. You need that to pump. Like your blood needs to move and flow to pump. For so like and the red blood cells. Yeah, iron. red blood cells blood. and and once the blood is once you keep the blood healthy, mm -hmm. yeah, your body and everything else, your heart 
and everything else is gonna be healthy too. Your skin and your mind as well too, once it ain't toxic and poisonous. Okay. All right. All right, good looking out, Shredder. Lisa Shredder's YouTube page and his yeah. email. Okay, good, good talk yeah, to Yeah, the, the Gmail, um, one chance in a million dot, um, at gmail.com. The YouTube is there. Um, the Cash App, dollar sign M Shredder. You find this information useful. Yeah, you can hit that. The PayPal is one chance in a million at gmail.com. I'm throwing that out there. Because okay. we got pastors out here making out here in Rolls Royces and you know blinged out for getting, robbing the people. And getting stuck up yeah. in, the, in the church, yeah. you see that? Yeah, because they're sticking up the people. Yeah. I don't mean to go off topic, but right. this is real, this is real food. This food that I'm telling you to eat is real food and knowledge for you. Yeah. That stuff in there is like yeah. this is gonna free you. Pastor's not gonna give you that because they yeah, they're not gonna can, you know. Nah, they're gonna keep you on that chain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is not free out. Peace yes. and salute. Peace, brother.